Hey. So, yeah. Once again, these, these are all totally unscripted, so it, it's just a thought stream. Um, but um, what I wanted to, to suggest today um, is just how important reading is. Uh, how important it's been in my life and how important it is for a well-rounded mind. Um, you know, I, I was introduced to reading by my mom at a young age and it totally shaped the way that I think and I think really opened up my mind in terms of empathy because it teaches you how many different ways there are to think and how many different lives there are to live. And I think that that can make you realize that the life that you're living isn't the only one out there. And that, you know, it can be hard to identify with the way that other people think, but there are reasons for why they think the way they think. Um, and that's important to, to understand in order to understand them. Um, and then in addition to that, so you get to kind of, in a sense, experience other lives just through these words on a page. Um, but you also get to condense a lot of experience. If you think about the magic of um, text and the, the magic of writing, the fact that you can take this experience and take this meaning and put it, condense it down into these symbols on a page and then convey so much that generally would be hard to convey or, um, you know, takes years of lived experience. It can be condensed down into something that you can read in four hours. Um, you know, of course, it means that there's nuance and detail and complexity that can't be conveyed, but it can communicate so much. So not just in terms of, for example, fiction, um, in that poetic sense of um, uh, conveying things that are hard to say, but then in, in the informational sense of people being able to share lessons from their own lives and lived experience that you can then um, ingest in a short amount of time, I think can help you level up really quickly. So, you know, I'm sure if you are watching this and you are my child, then you already know how important reading is. And I'm sure you read a lot anyway. Um, but if for some reason that message wasn't conveyed somehow, yeah, that's my advice is, is just to really absorb how important it is to read widely and deeply. Um, try to mix fiction with nonfiction. Of course, you want to learn concrete things that you can apply to a career or apply to uh, ingenuity or inventions or what have you, you know, science and maths and uh, practical knowledge, but then also read for the depth of understanding and empathy that it will um, teach you. And, and no, not just um, experience that is directly applicable in our modern world, but the experience of the past. You, you know, I've read, for example, Marcus Aurelius's Meditations or uh, Epictetus or Plato, Socrates, what have you. Um, wisdom that's been accreted over thousands of years of human experience um, is available to you. That, that's magical. That's amazing. Um, and, and, and looking at history and looking at the way that we live today as well with the lens of understanding that people have been having these thoughts and these ideas and, and thinking about these things for millennia um, is also very eye-opening and changes, 
I think for me personally, like your perspective of where we are um, in terms of that, that chain of uh, humanity. So, yeah, what, what I guess one more thing I would say is that, um, you know, in terms of, let's say, mathematical or scientific knowledge, you can read about a theory and understand and use that knowledge that potentially took decades or centuries or even millennia to to uh, create and that's amazing and and there's that saying I couldn't even tell you exactly who said it it might have been Newton but you know the idea of what was it Einstein talking about Newton whatever it was is about like standing on the shoulders of giants um, and really that's what reading enables you to do is that you can all of a sudden like you can read the theories that took so long to put together you can read them and understand them in such a short amount of time and it, you're just like accelerating um, and you get to build upon those centuries of knowledge um, that's incredible that's really a gift and and it shouldn't be wasted so that's my lesson or you know advice um, today is just read 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 and read widely um but also yes don't just read crap because there's definitely it's the same as with food there's junk food and then there's nutritious uh healthy food um short form ephemeral content news in general short clickbaity articles social feed posts tweets etc most of that is not extremely useful or may have some kind of use in, in contextualizing um, exactly what's happening now, the zeitgeist. But in general, um, you can use the, the rule of thumb, the Lindy effect, that you know the utility of something can be um, profiled based upon the length of time it's existed and survived so the longer that something has existed and this is not just a this is not an absolute rule but in terms of knowledge like the longer that something has existed the more kind of concrete or useful it is um, or ha it has been extremely useful so be mindful, like don't just read, but be mindful of what you're reading and try to read really high quality content. So use the Lindy effect and then also use um, the wisdom of the crowd to, to an extent about what is, um, what is high quality literature and what is high quality knowledge because there's a lot of junk and, and it's increasing every day more than ever. Um, and you can waste your time feeling like you're learning or feeling like you're ingesting knowledge, but it's very um, it's low quality and, and it won't help you grow. So read widely, read well. Um, and that's my advice.